Hello everyone. Uh, just played a game. I actually won it, um, but it was it was quite a long one. Sixty eight moves <clears throat> finished. Uh, went all the way to an end game, and we had a uh, Roy Lopez because I've I've um, I've given up on the the Latvian gambit. Just wasn't working for me, um, and I, honestly, I wasn't enjoying it as much. So you know, even in our last over the board or previous over the board. Um, match the previous one when I was on board one so we won the toss and I got to choose I chose black I actually chose to play with the black pieces because I'm I'm pretty confident with this um, opening I've been playing a lot of blitz I've been playing a lot of 10 minute rapid 5 minute blitz 10 minute rapid and the number of times my opponent stops and uses almost 30 seconds on like move 4 um, after after they see f5 they people just don't know really what to do because these are fairly rare lines and um, and that's what we get now here so this is this is the Janish um, or, or it's also known as the Schliemann defense against the uh, the Roy Lopez um, or the Janish Gambit and here my opponent plays Knight to c3 which is the Dickoff variation okay now um, I know that I faced this a few times and I know that I wasn't quite sure what to do. So let me show, I'll just show you quickly what we did in the game. I took the pawn, which I believe was correct, because if knight takes, I knew I had d5. Now, I don't, uh, the computer doesn't like it all that much, it's 1.2, because this does give away this pawn. This knight is now pinned after the pawn moves. Okay, however, I'm attacking this knight. Okay, so in the game, the knight retreats to c3, and I'm quite happy. Now I push e4, and the knight comes here. Yes, I'm being threatened once. Uh, well, threatened twice, defended only once. So in the game, I play bishop d7, and we trade off. And the game goes goes pretty well, actually. Um, yeah, so I uh, line up my queen and my bishops. This is very, very aggressive. I'm, I'm liking having this kind of shield there. Um, against my opponent. He's now got to respond. He's got to weaken his king side. Um, he comes out aggressively. I give check. And uh, we'll just whiz through the game because it's a pretty, pretty fun game. And things are starting to get glued up a bit, but I can now slip my queen in. Uh, I attack the rook. I take the rook. I take the queen, um, knowing that my queen also hangs, but then I can take that bishop. Looks good. And I'm plus eight here, and pretty much it's a relative walk-in from this point. I do actually get my my king and my rook forked by a bishop in the middle of the board later on. Lose my rook, but I'm still up material and go on to win. But you can check that out. Stephen, Massachusetts, if you want to check out the rest of the game. But that's not what I brought you here to talk about. Um, we, we want to work my dick off. We want to study my dick off. So... Um, so I pull it up on openingtree.com. Opening tree is really, really good for um, for studying the what do people actually play against you. And you can pull in chess.com. You can also pull in Lee Chess, etc. So here I've I've put in the so Roy Lopez, Schliemann stroke Janish, and then now we're in the region of my Dickoff. Okay, so here. I've played f takes e4 most. I've played it 15 times out of 17 games, but um, and I've won one more than I've lost. Okay, now I'm not quite happy with that those odds. Um, now what happens here? Okay, bishop takes c6 has been played twice, and I've won both of those games. So I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, um, knight takes e4 is the other most common move, and then d5 looks okay so this is what's actually been played but let's have a quick look let's have a refresher but let's have a look at the study and because this i'm making this video for my own benefit but you know just sharing it with you as well so i've got a whole study on the um the janish gambit okay you can get that on leeches um, and here we go, Janish, now Dickoff variation. Okay, now, F takes is correct, Knight takes is 
uh, by far the most common. In fact, it's the only reasonably good move. If bishop takes, you recapture now with a b pawn. Uh, and you've got a fairly good pawn center here. You know, I, I, that, that kind of right angle structure that I'm quite happy with. Um, and d5 is correct. And now, knight takes e5 is the correct move. Bizarre, you know, they, they, they're losing material here um, by taking the knight, okay? But that is the best move. And then you should take, and now if they take on here, right, you don't, you don't recapture the knight because then you get yourself forked, right? The move that I need to remember here, okay, is queen to d5. Uh, you're hitting the bishop. Now, if the bishop retreats, so hang on, they can capture here and with the discover check and defend the bishop. Okay, so that's the best move. And you pull king to d8. Now, white is actually slightly better here, but only, only if they find the move pawn to c4. Okay, anything else in black is better. So here the computer saying queen g5 is best. Okay. Um, so let's just go over that again. So here, I mean, you really can't just go over these too much. Okay, so dick off variation, we take, they take, we occupy the center. If they take here, um, you grab the knight. So we are actually up a minor piece at this point, but then they take our knight. And the best move is to come out here. Now, let's just check this. Queen d5 is best by test. 52% win rate for black. That's what really matters, okay? Queen d5 is what matters. Um, now, a lot of the time, they will play c4 here rather than knight takes a, a7. In fact, they'll play c4 a lot more frequently. So if c4 is played, then we can just slide back to d6. And still we're winning 52% of the time, okay? Now they do this, and you can play bishop d7. Bishop d7 wins 50% of the time for black. That's also what the engine says, okay? So sometimes these lines are not favorable. The engine won't like it, right? But in real world, uh, black wins very well from this position. I mean, any position where black's winning 51%, that's not to be sniffed at, okay? So most likely here is bishop takes d7, queen takes d7, must be played, king takes is wrong. And remember this knight's hanging, it can go to here, that's going to be almost certainly played, yeah, knight b5. And you just carry on developing. Okay, so there we go. Right, and that's that. So um, I think that's probably enough here. They are most likely to castle, and then there's lots of good moves here. In fact, bishop e7 is the strongest. So I've added all of that particular line now to my, my theory. Let's just go over it again one more time. Okay, dick off variation, take, right? Take, dick off, take. And then we strike out in, in the center. I mean, there's a lot of reasonable moves here for, um, for black. Uh, knight to f6 is actually the most common move that wins 46% of the time, but d5 is more principled, grabbing the center, and that wins 49% from this point. On what kind of settings? 1800, 2000, 222. So, all good. So, yeah, if you are following the Freddy Krueger repertoire, if you are playing the Janish, you are going to come up against the dick off uh, relatively, relatively frequently, and so you need to know what to do. So there you go. Now you know. Thanks for watching. See you soon.